we should identify ourselves in this exhibition as the victim <laughs> rather than the killer. Well, I try to not watch too much when I come to work because it's quite violent. I can look after. Very curious thing in Ch Chinese museum system is money. Pay to exhibit. This is yeah, unique yeah, in China. And I'm back only since three years, and I do How have the that? feeling. Wow, well, it's it's tough. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Easy China. I'm Roseanne Lake. Today we're in Beijing's ever-growing art district where we're going to meet artist Li Chevalier. Her atelier is just up there on the second floor, so let's head in there and see her in action. So I'm catching up here with Lee Chevalier after the vernissage of Visual Symphony, her exhibition that's uh, at the Alliance Française. Um, she is, uh, well, she's traveled all over the world. Uh, she left China 23 years ago and has come back recently. And uh, we're going to see how her work is being accepted in the country where it's perhaps most important to her. I think it's uh, the whole thing is, according to me, quite perfect because mm -hmm. the subject is sort of a, uh, represent a strong conflict. Yes. You know, it's a uh, emotional works, mm. and it's about uh, sense and sensitivity. Mm. I mean, it creates a special atmosphere. I think the whole atmosphere is just like what I expected. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some images there. We spoke to a few people who were who were attending, and they said we spoke to one French professor who said, "Oh, I, I don't look at them; they're too violent for me." When I come into class, and then well, I try to not watch too much when I come to work because it's quite violent. I can look after. If I look at it too much before my class, maybe I would be disturbing during my class. So you like it or do you yeah, like I it? Yeah, I like it because I like to be disturbed. I think this work is really strong about it's, it's a bit violent maybe and I really like it like you can feel the like the flesh or something like very quite a violent if you if you stand in front of the, the work so a few minutes you can really feel something strong about violence physical violence it's not so usual about what we have here in the Nostrance. In this work, there's really a kind of energy. Wow. We had a little boy who said, oh no, you know, the scissors going to the apple slash heart, not violent. We have one. 
Well, I mean, actually, the violence here is the ash and, and the scissors and knives. They're not, they're not me. They're not the artists. It's the artist who suffers from the scissors ah. and the knife and the ash. Okay. It's the heart suffer from sense, from sense, from you know being reasonable. You know. Mm. So actually, I think we should identify ourselves in this exhibition as the victim, <laughs> rather than the killer. Okay, so we're not lashing out against anyone. At all. We're just showing that, you know, we're, we're sensible. I definitely think that you, one of the important characters of being an artist is to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. now, I always mm -hmm. compare artists to sponge. It reacts in a very strong way to, yes. to life, to environment, like somebody is throwing up, because mm. when you're throwing up, you cannot... You can't control you it. You can't it control comes. it. Yeah. Art expression is not controllable. So that was so. a James Joyce thing. He compared writing exactly. to going to the bathroom. E exactly. And number two. And you get to touch a very special audience because you've got such a mix of cultures going on. You were born in China, studied in London. You have some magical history in French because the way you speak French <laughs> <laughs> clearly conveys that you've lived there for a while and have a strong affinity for, for the language. For the culture. Yeah, well, actually, my husband is French. Oh, so that'll do that's it. explain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I left China in the middle 80s, okay. first to France. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I started to learn art in, in Florence when I discovered mm -hmm. Italy. I went to London to because London. London for me is still a very, um, especially uh, the Central Saint Martins, mm. they do teach us a very artistic language that mm. we could not probably not that easily to learn in Italy because mm. we go to Italy to learn old masters yes. way of painting. Yes, so you, you look back at exactly. the way they do things. That's a foundation, it's a very important mm -hmm. foundation. Mm -hmm. um, um, and after being invaded by all you know, Western uh, painting heritage, mm. then what the professor expects you to find your own Your own, you go to language. London to, exactly. yeah. Yeah, that's London is a it's a individualist exactly, yeah. and, and art market is very very active. Mm -hmm. I don't know because mm -hmm. Paris gives the world an uh, image of uh, a ho hometown for all the artists <laughs> for fashion for art. When you look at you know uh, Picasso, uh, mm -hmm. Modigliani, mm -hmm. they were all there. Uh, got, they're all there mm -hmm. on, on 19th century and 20th century. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists there, but mm -hmm. after that, they I mean. You know, the rebels so people, yeah, to exactly, <laughs> to London, to New York, to yeah. some other big cities, which is probably less conservative. Things were moving on. It exactly, was just, yeah. exactly. Probably one day everything will move here Beijing. <laughs> to Beijing. Yeah. That's what a few artists I've spoken to have said. No, well, I actually, um, I have when I I lived altogether 23 years overseas, mm -hmm. and I'm back only since three years, mm -hmm. and I do How have the that? feeling. Yeah. Well, it's it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the feeling that that the first contact with the Chinese market, art market, the, the first impression, mm. uh, uh, not from material viewpoint, mm. uh, but from artistic viewpoint, I feel like a jet, there's a jet lag or a half time difference mm -hmm. uh, between uh, the Chinese art today Consumer and area. what we, we have learned in Europe. It's a very strong feeling, so it's, uh, it comes out of me very naturally. So uh, coming back from France yeah, to China, yeah, 23 to China. years later. Actually, it's the right timing because mm. the art market is really booming. Mm. Uh, but it's not because the art market is booming that the artist, the quality is... It, it's, it's a very uh, important distinction. Yeah, exactly. I liked uh, this conversation with uh, one of my teacher and friend and neighbor, uh, Monsieur Aron, mm. who is uh, the president of uh, Maison des Artistes, mm. the house of a French artist, uh, very high authority. Yes, yes. Uh, it uh, struck me a lot because he finds the last Western oil painting tradition in mm. China. But I am not very happy that people find they lost the thing here and, he, and in this place, this used up thing in mm. Europe or in, in the state or in the West is becoming fashionable here mm. and how long is going to last? That's that jet lag you're exactly. talking about. Exactly, there's a jet lag. Mm. Uh, of course, I understand uh, from a certain point of view uh, because chi really the modern contemporary art history is only about 20 years. Yeah, of course, it's years. contemporary. Yeah. Yeah, it's, contemporary. <laughs> it's very contemporary, in very old-fashioned way, contemporary. Yes. <laughs> so people are, haven't digested this great admiration for the old Western masters, you know, because oil mm. painting has, has quite a few hundred years history. Sure. Uh, not, his, not real history in China, but made the first oil painting is introduced by 
uh, uh, um, Jesus priest, mm. Matteo Ricci, and he when he bring, he when he brought the Christianity to China, he brought uh. the, the portrait of a Virgin Mary oh, sure. at, at that time, it's, the and, and then he world. discovered the Chinese painting. Uh, does not go as far as Western painting in clear, obscure, in dimension, in perspective mm -hmm. at the time, because Chinese painting is mostly water painting. Yes, and uh, so it's it's already have a lot of abstract character in it from mm -hmm. the very beginning. So you cannot work like in oil, you know friendly relationship between China and Russia in that socialist mm, period. Mm, mm. Oil painting has got also quite a ah, uh, okay. little bit little influence in China. But mm. the subject is a socialist realistic sure. style. But people get into more contact with, with that. And was it more from a collector's perspective or from an no. actual artistic no, appreciation? I no, I think there is really no collector no, uh, no real collector in, in the in the Western sense until quite recently. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so no, it's at the time really. Uh, it's it's a art is a, is a functional. It's a, mm. you know it's a state assigned mission. Almost a political thing. Exactly, yeah. it's a political mm -hmm. thing. It's a, but of course today, I I do have the feeling uh, Chinese artists today, mm. they don't have to have an external assigned mission. Yeah, I I, I met a, quite a few friends here. They 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 enjoy the much greater liberty, space, liberty and freedom yeah. of the expression. And it's not a mission Compared to 23 years ago when, I, yeah, when, I, left, when I left China. Yeah. So after that, I feel, okay, I can come back to art. <laughs> because I do have a kind of a feeling that I, this is my mission in this mm. world. The throwing so up very came back. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. And that's where, where it is today. And so the contemporary art scene in China, you would describe as something that is maybe still evolving. It's contemporary in the sense that it's very new, but maybe sort of uh, the West's older that's ending up here. Things from the West that are ending up here. Yeah, exactly. I had a, uh, an exhibition today, Art Museum in May, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the only comments of the, even the people who carry paintings that we have never seen anybody doing things like you do. Mm -hmm. So I think, okay, that's here it is, that's here. what I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, invention, you know, you, at the Renaissance period, you, it's, it's enough to follow an old master to work. Mm. It's like an artisan. Right, artisan, the yeah. apprentice, artisan. Exactly, yeah. you work like your master, you imitate mm. maximum, and then you have a little, little something of freedom, yourself. Yeah. Today, the, the artist's mission is very, very demanding. You're expected to do really new things, mm. inventing new stuff, uh, bring, out, bring out your new visions, because mm. imitation, of course, is out of time. But today, we're trying to show the world a vision which is personal, something that you could not see. Mm. You could not see, but I, I see it and then I bring it out. So. And to help give people who are looking at it some sort of a meaning. Exactly. I mean, everyone exactly. has their interpretation exactly. of it, and it's only in you know standing next to the picture, the painting with you, yeah. and you giving the explanation that we'll finally understand. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to have to impose our own yeah. sort of twist and. Well, and well, for me, art is first of all expression, and secondly, communication. Communication. Uh, and then, if 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 the work is being well received and understood, then I'm I'm happy. Mm. But if not. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Do you like to lurk around your exhibitions and sort of watch what people are doing? Oh yeah, it's yeah. very funny because uh, some people were present that themselves as a specialist to explain to other friends <laughs> about my process of, of creation. That must be fun. And it's very <laughs> fine to listen to it and keep quiet, not let them know you're the artist and, and listen to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. Are they accurate? Yeah. Or uh, they what? <laughs> As they don't know me, if they don't, they haven't read anything. So, but they could bring a new, some new light. Maybe something that and I haven't go, seen oh, myself. Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you just mentioned the Today Art Museum in, yeah. in China. Uh, museums, the yeah. Today Art Museum is a very today thing. It's, it's a new thing. Yeah, according to what I understood, uh, understand, uh, uh, the commission of selection is uh, composed of uh, a vice director of Central Art Academy and all, all kind okay. of specialists from 
all over China. But I don't know about their artist education background. Mm. I just don't <laughs> know. But but they could it's have just been randomly appointed. Exactly. Yeah. But it's still symbol of a, of a, you know the high authority of Chinese official art. Of course. But coming back to the to the today art museum, it, it's much more flexible. The orientation is much more contemporary, mm -hmm. yes. and also as is the only alternative. So a lot of people being refused about National Museum mm -hmm. would go uh, would to turn today to Today Art Museum. Museum. Yeah. And very curious thing in chi Chinese museum system is money. So but in art it plays a, a specific role because it's not contrary to what the art is, but it's, it's so necessary to the art survival. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. not... Yeah and, yeah, and it plays sometimes a very strange when, mm. you know, uh, role in in the process, probably also in the process of selection. I'm just wondering. Uh, oh. I mean, when you no, you don't you don't pay to be able to to show. Mm. This is for sure. You Which have is to, an excellent thing in China. Yeah, because this is already an excellent. Thing. <laughs> this is yeah. this is progress. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not because you pay, you could show. Mm -mm. But once you are being accepted by those, mm, either national museum or private museum, mm. you have to pay. So uh. that's that's also a serious problem for people who are not able to pay. I'm lucky enough to uh. sell enough of my painting. The price of my painting could make me continue to put money in again. Continue, you know, it's a, it's really a, a dedication, a self-sacrifice mm. to art. To but I guess uh, all the artists is the same, you know. Pay to exhibit. This yeah, is unique yeah, in China. To, yeah, you have to you have to mm. pay. Yeah, either you have you're powerful enough to get uh, private red capital behind you, no, red capital behind you, or you have to pay yourself. Mm. So it's double actually difficulties for mm. for people who sure for, for artists. Most, yeah, I mean, this is for not... most of the people graduated from Central Art Academy. They those people I know they probably try to get a credit from bank and buy apartment and then live on the rent mm. they have oh, and, and sell a little bit painting to. So, so that that means lots of people. Even if they pass the process of selection, they probably will not be able to mm. to show their work. And I wrote this uh, to a Chinese magazine here <laughs> when I came back. Mm -hmm. I just it's just stronger than myself. Do you yeah. you know set off any bells here? Uh, well, no, no, no. But, uh, no, but uh, there's a um, new uh, worldwide uh, sort of uh, exhibition organized by the Chinese. Art Association called Biennale of Beijing. Oh, okay. It's a completely different, uh, uh, not opposite, but really different orientation from the Venice Biennale Venice, because this yeah. is organized by Chinese official association, so ah, necessarily okay. a little bit more conservative. Mm -hmm. and the, the artistic language it's it's different from the Venice one, but they, I think they're quite quite. Uh, they're showing signs of they're getting it open. Yeah, they're getting yeah. the this selection with uh, no no money. So you don't need to pay money. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you just send your works. But they still ask you uh, the last of five big exhibitions you you did in your okay. life. Okay, so, so they're looking for some prestige. Yeah, still there's still some factor in mm -hmm. it. Maybe because there are too many candidates, so there maybe it's, it's a, a way. It's a way. Of... But I don't or know. Maybe, maybe they're can. maybe they're not sure who to pick, and they <laughs> go, well, you know, whoever liked them before, yeah. we'll take them. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, they want yeah. the bling factor. Yeah, the probably. Factor. probably. Yeah. So well, actually, that exhibition is open to the uh, to the world artists, mm. wherever they come from. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they were and they're. Uh, Artists are very well received here. Mm. So I think the government has uh, putting a lot of money in art here. And I think their attitude towards artists is softening. I mean, even just this area that we're in right now, this yeah. seven night eight area, it's full of artist studios. Yeah, this exactly. is where you chose to have yours. And just, you know, not too long ago, there was talk of knocking down the whole thing and, and you know, building housing. It's, yeah. it, was an, and it was an area that was endangered. Yeah. And it seems like that attitude, that dialogue has been changed to, actually, this is a very important area. We have people, you know, we have artists that are working and living yeah, exactly, here. At least exactly. This is what I understand, what the official report is, who knows? I mean, yeah. maybe tomorrow... Well, I, I, I don't know, because I have studied you know, public law in France mm. before philosophy, because you have a, a legal guarantee of expropriation in, mm -mm. in France, so mm. everything is... A, okay, there's code, Napoleon code, old-fashioned, not, <laughs> yes. not, not well, well evolved, but still you have something which is clear. Mm. So here, uh, there is a progress towards humanization uh, of, yes. uh, of uh, administration, of, but as long as there is no uh, very clear legal protection mm, text, mm, mm. you would never know what could happen. So I do believe the government is making a tremendous effort to 
to pr protect uh, artists, artists. Uh, yeah, if, uh, then they see in this energy they're realizing that there's something they're here that they can't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But this desire of humanization of, uh, you know, uh, of uh, administrative process need to be supported by a legal system, mm. which is, I think, because there, otherwise the rules can be exactly changed uh, arbitrary. Wait, in other words, arbitrary, arbitrary is, uh, arbitrary is, uh, is very. Uh, make you feel sort of uh, on your toes on, on, yeah exactly yeah. on your toes yeah that's a big difference you know and mm. and i think i do believe that way uh the chinese artist is a lot compared to my when i was you now at my 20s there's no comparison they have a mm. large room of freedom, freedom. Of expression mm. but maybe not necessary freedom of showing them ah. but at least because <laughs> in certain in mm. certain type of exhibition they they will be a, a type of censorship mm -hmm. i've seen it in 798 you'll see a sign this exhibition is temporarily you know closed yeah, because of and, yeah and yeah and actually it's here happens. lives not far uh, away from here which is very he's very uh, uh, a very talkative very daring person mm. and and uh, and he one of his works, uh, he had a few visits of uh, the policeman in mm -hmm. his studio and saying, okay, you're not going to show, to show that. This could happen sometimes. What kind of work you know? was it? Was it uh, I think it's political because he's, he's, refer yeah, he's doing a um, uh, uh, sculpture referring to Mao, okay. term Mao. Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. to which extent he's going too far. Or I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And so that work is not, uh, is not, not. being accepted mm -hmm. to, to show. But mm -hmm. he can still do it. He can sure. do it. Yeah, he has he the freedom to do it. In, in, in a private way or and uh, last year there's another big show student show from by the artists from Central Art Academy in the, in the National Museum and two of the work uh, were being uh, rejected mm. because they remind a certain period of Too Chinese saucy. history something yeah I know this just it has nothing to do it was maybe yeah, erroneously termed as something political yeah it was a yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah yeah when people uh, who made the selection thought that Maybe that piece could remind the interpreter something wrong. exactly. Mm. Yeah. So, so.